So there's many of our Rastafari and Rastas out there who believe that Garveyism is is what this movement of Rastafari, the true and the progressive movement of Rastafari is all about. Some even think that Garveyism and Ethiopianism is one and the same thing and even give undue attribution to Marcus Messiah Garvey for this movement and particular for the Ethiopian World Federation. Now, what we want to do is just demonstrate with some of the evidence. Now, even in Ethiopia, in the community that His Majesty gave to um, we, the black people of the world, and Rastafari, the faithful Rastafarians, those who have repatriated, have become the caretakers of what we know as the Shashimani community. And that there is good, but there are weeds that need to be weeded out. And the major weed is this Garveyism, the confusion between Garveyism and Ethiopianism. And what we want to do is to demonstrate, first of all, by some of the evidence what we've been seeking to um, explain and make clear. Some are confused. Some don't want this truth to get out. But it says in the last days, and we're living in these times, these times that, that try men's souls. These are the days. And it says, in the last days will the mystery of, of God and Christ become abundantly clear as well as evident. And it's an important aspect of the fulfillment of prophecy. So even for us, there's the half of the story that has to be known. And this is the half of the story concerning Garveyism vis-a-vis -vis Ethiopianism. Just like between Christ and John the Baptist. John the Baptist, there was a movement of John the Baptist. He had his disciples. But then there was the early Christine or Nazarene movement of the one whom John the Baptist pointed to. So therefore, a decision had to be made. A decision needs to be made between so-called Garveyism or the true movement, which is Ethiopianism, Ethiopianism. So now here let's demonstrate, first of all, this is, um, this is a copy of the Constitution of the Ethiopian World Federation, the Ethiopian World Federation Constitution and Bylaws, right, this particular document. And this is a particular copy that we put out years ago in our activities and involvement in the um, revitalization, the revitalization of the Ethiopian World Federation. Now, let us understand a, a few things. First of all, that Garvey was a great man. Marcus Messiah Garvey, he's a great man. He's a part of our history. We cannot so-called uncreate Garvey. And we're not seeking to uncreate Garvey or take Garvey out of the historical process of our movement. But we are stuck. It's like the movement has been stuck in stasis because they have failed to recognize the one whom his imperial majesty has sent. And this is Dr. Malaku Emmanuel or Emmanuel Bayan. This is the one whom his majesty sent as a special representative and special emissary to black America, to the blacks in America, to the lost sheep of the Beta Israel. So this is the man whom we should give due credit and attribution to, but instead, ones have continually given credit to Marcus Messiah Garvey for this movement, even for the Ethiopian World Federation. Now, of course, many will deny that, but let's just check out some of this, some of this evidence right here, right? Well, this is from some of the Naya Bingi. You can see that here's Marcus Garvey's 110th Earth Day, so forth and so on. And on the surface, it seems good. It seems innocent. But there's a, there's a weed of disobedience and of ignorance and error that continues to be perpetrated by such activities. Now, here is one of the Hartford locals of the Ethiopian World Federation, Hartford, USA. And here's the masthead that they use, the line of Judah, as well as with the uh, Ethiopia, Ethiopia or Ethiopiawi Alem Federation, even though we had to update this because um, whoever did this did not have a good command of the Amharic Fidel and had made certain errors. So our version of it is an update to that, and here is it correctly. And if you actually um, look at the two, you will see the the difference. But anyway, let's 
continue. This is the voice of Ethiopian newspaper under revitalization. Here it has a symbol of his imperial majesty, 1993, and they are having an honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey Day. And they put Marcus Garvey right here on the masthead, on the masthead of the Ethiopian World Federation Incorporated. Now, this video is being done to show what we are persuaded of based on the evidence is the reason why the Federation, the Ethiopian World Federation, is not fulfilling in this time and this dispensation amongst us its true aspect because we are not giving due respect to the one whom His Imperial Majesty has sent. And the one whom His Imperial Majesty has sent as his angel is Dr. Malako Emmanuel Bayan. Ethiopian special emissary to black America, to black America, 1936 to 1941. This is whom his imperial majesty has sent. So the Rastafari, we have to ask ourselves, seeing that we're the caretakers for Shashimani, how come a road or a street has not been named for Dr. Malaku Emmanuel Bayan? by us, but there is an area, street, or a portion of a road which has been named for Marcus Messiah Garvey. Also, when we look at this right here, let's ask ourselves this question right here. As we look through it, we see His Majesty, a small picture right here. We see a large picture for um, Marcus Messiah Garvey, right? And overall, you know, much of this, you know, we agree with. You understand concerning some of the knowledge and information here, but this is being devoted to so-called Honorable Marcus Messiah Garvey, a large picture of Garvey, small picture of his Imperial Majesty, with some of the historical um, emblems, um, as we see, attached, cut and paste, so forth and so on. Now, this particular page right here is interesting. This is the second page. This is roughly 1993. This document is dated from 1993. Now, when we look and we go through the document, this is, I think it was Ross Teo Omari the first. He was the president, Hartford president. We're not blaming this particular individual, but something that we have not weeded out and have not gotten correct with is we have Garvey here, a large picture of Garvey here, a picture, a historical picture of the black people in the 20s and 30s. And then it says down here, established August 25, 1937, by Dr. Malako E. Bayan. By Dr. Malako E. Bayan. And underneath we have Shah Shermani right here. We have a quote, um, I think, by Marcus Garvey, so forth and so on. But why is Garvey's picture here? And there's no picture throughout this of Dr. Malako. Emmanuel Bayan, of this man, of this man right here. This man gave his life in obedience to the King of Kings to bring forward that seed of true Ethiopianism that we know of as the Ethiopian World Federation. You see, until we weed out the weed of Garveyism and once again establish a firm foundation on the teaching of his imperial majesty, the Ethiopian World Federation will still continue to underachieve because we have not focused on the root and the seed provided to us by His Imperial Majesty. This is just more food for thought. But stay tuned. we got some more information to share on this important issue of the Ethiopian World Federation. So stay tuned.